Morning guys. I'm just about to put my mum's glasses on so I can actually see. Hope you guys have all been having a good day. Today I have absolutely no plans whatsoever. I am so tired from last night. We ended up getting that engine out. I think around about half past 11 and I didn't get home until about 2 a.m. Uh, so, and then I edited until 3, so that way you guys can see the video for yesterday, and then I finally got to bed at about 3.30 and I slept until 9 o'clock today. The longest sleep and I've had in a couple of years actually, which is pretty crazy. But today I got a package and I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to open it. Alright, so I'm actually so confused because I actually don't think I've ordered anything that's supposed to be on its way today. So, I don't know, this could get interesting. I have absolutely no idea. Ooh, my, what? How did this, okay. So guys, I actually reached out to a company uh, the other day called Ross Performance. They specialize in a lot of different specific parts. And uh, I reached out to them because they actually make a really nice uh, head drain for the RB. Yo, they actually sent me so much stuff. What's so weird is the reason that I was a little bit confused was because with the sponsorship, I still paid shipping, and I didn't send any money until this morning, which means that they sent this before I paid for it. <laughs> Very odd. They sent me out an awesome Ross Performance sticker. They also sent me out some gloves, which is awesome. I've been wanting some mechanics gloves for ages, and actually some of you guys in the comments actually said that I should look into getting some gloves when I'm working on cars too. This is so mean. Let's see if they even fit. These are like super heavy duty. Oh man, Ross, you know my size, dude. Woo. They are so man. Oh, my fingers are stuck together. Yes, they look sick. And so this little piece right here is the actual head drain itself. So what it is, is it's just this little thing right here. Basically it goes there into a filter and then into this little drain here. Um, and what they do is, I'll see if I can quickly connect it in. So I believe this goes straight to an AN fitting, which you can basically just screw onto that rubber hose or do anything, or you can put a braided line there. I'm probably gonna put a braided line there. Um, but there's actually a few bungs on the back of the RV which you can tap into. Uh, basically press out the bung, two holes on each side, and then tap them, and then you can put your two new bolts in. What it does is it sits at the back of the block, and so that way oil goes in here, back down to the oil pan, and uh, yeah, because RVs have terrible head drain issues. You can do a couple of things in terms of like trying to mill out, trying to like bore out the returns or uh, or even try to baffle up the head. But the best way I've heard about trying to get around the issue is just trying to make the engine oil flow as much as possible, um, apart from putting some baffles in the head. I'm not quite sure, I'll have to double check with you guys. But yeah, thank you so much Ross, let's get back to the video. Okay guys, so last week we actually did the calipers in the Falcon. Um, if you guys remember, we did them in a really cool gold color, which look absolutely sick. And today I don't really have much time at all. We're going to Sunshine Coast tonight to go catch up with Sarah's family. And uh, it's about 12 o'clock after I finish finally doing all of my ZB social stuff. Today, we're gonna do the calipers in the skyline. It shouldn't take too long at all. I've been painting like crazy over the past two weeks. So I think it's time we finally get the last piece of it all done. And uh, yeah, it should look pretty sick. Now I'm sorry guys if my content very recently has been super boring, just like painting and getting all the little things buttoned up on the R33. We're just waiting on the last little tiny piece of confirmation that the engine build is gonna go ahead. Everything has been ordered. We're just waiting for a car to move off the hoist at, uh, at the LEP Labs workshop. So shouldn't be too long at all. So I'm sorry, the video has been very repetitive and we've just been buttoning up little things. But yeah, we are so close to getting this engine out. Uh, I can, yeah, I, I'm so keen to get this thing registered. I'm so keen. I swear, wasn't it just sunny? Like no longer than one minute ago? I was just sanding and it I just felt water and then 30 seconds later this is it. Ugh, so this doesn't last long. All right, so while it's raining outside, I may as well show you guys what we're gonna be using today. Uh, I usually have pretty good luck with these two products. Um, I'm not gonna be doing the gold on this car just simply because I I did want to, but then the paint started reacting on the Falcon over there, like one of them on the left hand side started going sticky. I actually believe that's because of the high heat primer, not that one, that one there. 
That one there, the high heat primer. I don't know, something with that on the left hand side front, I don't know what happened, but it, it just doesn't like it. So anyway, I'm gonna be redoing them with these actual proper caliper paint and high heat primer as well. This caliper paint goes super glossy and I love it. I had it on most of my cars, so yeah, we're gonna be using that. And usually I can do the whole car with just two cans, one can of primer, one can of caliper paint. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's just wait for this bloody rain to go. It's almost gone now, guys. Alrighty, so if you guys remember how I did the wheels, these ones right here, uh, yeah, you guys will know, I didn't exactly do the greatest job. I'm not putting it into a booth. I'm not using like two pack buddy heat proof high tensile paint. I don't even know what I just said. But I have cleaned them back, scuffed them up, taped them off, and now and now both of these rotors are ready to go. So let's throw some paint on them. Radio first stage, some primer. And literally as I just started priming the front, the rain came. And uh, yeah, it's not liking me too much. Let's try and come back a little bit later. Alrighty, so both calipers are now completely coated in primer, which is awesome. Let's pray that it doesn't rain on this coat of primer like it did in the last one. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting painting job. In saying that, I kind of like them in primer, to be honest. <laughs> Can I just leave them there? They kind of look cool. Alright, whatever, let's get going. I'm so annoyed because the wheels I literally just painted are like rusting. I, I don't know, it's just like surface rust, which is so annoying. I'm using these stupid alloy nuts, but I really want to get some steel ones. These ones here are rusting on the very corners, you guys can kind of see, it's super annoying. But because it's been raining so much, they've been like sitting in water, and they have been leaving like the big yellow patches everywhere in my rims, which is super annoying. But you guys did tell me not to go white rims because it's going to be annoying to clean, and I did it, so ha. Alrighty, so next up on the world's most useless caliper painting tutorial. Uh, the storm moved away, which is good, so now we can finally throw some colour on. I'm just going to be using a Doobie Colour Caliper Red, which is going to be sick. All the primers now dry, so let's hit it with some red. There's something about this color that I just absolutely love. The red turns into an extremely bright, like, candy red. It just looks absolutely perfect. And, uh, yeah, I love it. Righty, guys, so, wheels back on. These bad boys look so good. And then, uh, hopefully we can drop this car back down, get the other side finished before this afternoon. It's apparently, like, 1.30 now. I want to get them done by, like, 3 o'clock. So, let's get to it. Alrighty, this is looking sick. Check out this against the white. Oh wait, you guys can't even see it. It's so bright in real life. There you go. Check out that. Looks awesome. Alright, so I have moved the car inside now. I'm going to put a towel over the floor here. Um, so that way I don't get any sanding on the floor. All this is just annoying dirt, which is so annoying. They're all good to go. So let's hit them with some primer and see how they go. And I know a lot of you guys are cringing because this is a rental property, but don't stress. Basically, what I'm going to do, what I plan to do with these concrete floors, I'm going to actually start to get them professionally cleaned and actually clean them out properly, like at least once every six months. Because I know I'm going to be doing a heap of work in here. There is already oil stains and coolant stains everywhere, and uh, so I'm going to have to get that all fixed anyway. But uh, yeah, going to get this all cleaned up very, very soon. Calipers are now done looking nice and fresh and bright. So now wheels going back on and then we should be good to finish up the day. Oh, and also, you know how I said it was Friday and that we're heading up the coast to go to go see Sarah's family? 
I was worried because Max wasn't home from work because he finishes at like 12.30 on a Friday. So normally he's home by at least one. And he's still not back. And then I looked at my phone and I realized that we were making so many jokes last night when we were doing the engine swap that it was Thursday after midnight that I thought it was Friday today. So it turns out we're actually gonna go tomorrow and I actually could have done more stuff today. But I just had the cookie crumbles. I'm sorry guys, maybe tomorrow we might be able to do something a little bit more interesting. But yeah, I'm sorry, this is stupid. So I am super stoked with how both the calipers on these cars came out. So these ones here, beautiful, bright red, just like OEM with some white wheels. They look super nice with the car. I, I don't know why, but I think it's just because of the white, it's overexposing it and you just can't see the calipers. But when you like, when you zoom in, you can kind of see them. But in real life, they literally like, they literally look like this. It looks so good. And uh, even though the gold doesn't really match the color of the car, I love the gold against the silver wheels. I reckon they look sick. I love both these cars. They're amazing. Alright, so there is a few little things left we have to get ready with this car um, to ready to go on the track. So first of all, I know I could probably get away with it, but I would really like to get an actual proper seat and seat rail. Um, I don't feel like this seat is giving me the proper position and I really need to sort out something. I don't know what seat I'm going to fit in. I don't know exactly what uh, wheel I need with like a hub adapter or how far I need to space it. Yeah, I just, I really need to fix up the seating position. Also, with the reverse lights as well, I really need to sort out why they aren't turning on when I select reverse. Now, this car wasn't auto transferred to manual. Um, however, it must have just, mustn't have been plugged in. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, yeah, I really need those reverse lights to work so I can pass roadworthy. And then yes, as I said before, the car is having the engine taken out, the gearbox taken out and completely refreshed. Going to be putting a Nismo two-way in it, which is going to be sick. Yeah, and then I think we're ready to get this thing registered and ready to park. I just love how we bought this car as an unreliable mess and with low compression and just everything. Now we've made it look incredible, put some awesome wheels on it, made it just so much nicer. Just look at that shine though, god damn. I don't know what you think guys, but I am pretty stoked with this thing. I love it. Alright guys, so now is when you all come in. So I've been sort of trying to do like a lot of really small filler episodes, sort of to like give you guys a little bit something to look forward to when we actually do the engine swap. Uh, I'm sort of out of options with the Falcon at the moment. The only thing that I really want to do or like in the future is get more power from it. And let's be honest, it's going to cost a crazy amount of money to try and get some more power from that thing. Uh, I do have a fuel pump that I can put in it at the moment. However, I do need valve springs and head studs as well. And then literally all I have to do is just bolt those two things in and then we can make 500 horsepower from that thing with the 85. I don't know whether I want to do it or not yet, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna have to talk to a few more people. And if you're a company out there that wants to sponsor me some valve springs head studs, hit me up because I really want it. <laughs> The R33, we're literally just waiting on a hoist at Lep Labs, so he is he is ready to go, 100% ready to go, and as soon as we get there, we are like ripping out the engine, we're going to be painting the engine bay, we're going to be putting the engine back together, making it rock solid, ready for the track. Um, as I said before, we're not going to be going crazy with, uh, with numbers, we're not going to be tuning it, we're going to be putting it straight back on the stock map, learning how to drive first. So once we get that forward facing planum on, a different turbo and stuff like that, we'll be, we'll, we'll, we'll try and make around 400 horsepower. So very similar to Sam's car. But guys, I mean like, I'm trying to do like filler episodes so I know they're boring and everything. But I want to hear what you guys think. Is there any mods you guys want me to do to the Falcon or the Skyline? I really want to hear you guys' opinions because you guys are the ones that watch the videos. I just make them. So uh, yeah, I mean, I mean they are my cars. 
but put yourself in my shoes. If you owned either one of my cars, what mods would you do to them? Honestly, let's, let's hear them. <laughs> also, if you have any video ideas that you guys want me to film, whether you want me to film some more stuff with James or any one of my friends, possibly pulling apart that car again, you know, doing stuff like that, I absolutely love it. I would love to buy like a wrecked Falcon and then just part it out in my garage or something. That'd be super cool. But um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because I am like super stoked to, uh, to try and get some more videos done for you guys.